What's going on, everybody? It's The Hook Cam, back again with another film breakdown. This one's going to be talking about Frank Ragnow, center for the Detroit Lions, uh, just coming off of a big contract extension, making him the highest paid center in the NFL. And he deserves every bit of that money. This kid is an absolute stud. We're going to dive into the film and break this stuff down here in just a second. Just a couple of things I do want to get to first. Um, first and foremost, if you could hit that like button, hit that subscribe button to my channel, The Hook Cam. That would mean the absolute world to me. As well as Jackson Kruger Sports. Him and I are, uh, once again, I'm putting some channel, some uh, videos out on his channel, getting back into the game here. The second thing I want to point out is that Frank Ragnow himself actually has a YouTube channel called Grizzly Man Outdoors. Um... I don't know him at all. I haven't talked to him personally, but I did just listen to an interview with him on Bussin' with the Boys, and uh, it was from a while ago, but, I mean, this dude just seems like the most quality human being you can you can ever have. Um, just a hardworking guy, I believe, from Minnesota, um, but his YouTube channel's got a bunch of outdoor stuff, um, fishing. He was just in Florida. I mean, he's just a, like a gem of a human being, an absolute beauty. So um, I do want to give his channel a quick plug. Definitely, definitely check it out. So with all of that being said, let's go ahead and dive in to a little bit of Frank Ragnow film. Now, I wanted to look in division with this because the NFC North has just an absolute gauntlet of defensive linemen. I mean, every week you're going to be going up against some stud. The Bears with Akeem Hicks and obviously Khalil Mack and their front seven is no joke. And then you got the Packers who, you know, Kenny Clark and that's a fierce defensive line. And the Vikings are, you know, right there with them. I mean, three very, very good defensive lines that he has to play two times a year. So when we look in division, we see some very quality talent which is where I gathered a lot of this film from. So on this first clip right here, all that we're going to see is a really simple counter from the Detroit Lions, but the block that I want to focus on is this double team right here between guard and center. Now, a big part of double teams, especially when you're a center, you're this post-up guy, is giving your guard or your help or someone to, something to hit, right? And a lot of times, I think with double teams, especially at you know lower level football, is that we have this post-up guy and he takes up almost too much of that block and he doesn't leave a lot for his guard to hit on, right? Now, right here, Frank Ragno does a phenomenal job posting up on this. This doesn't need to be a crushing block from Frank Ragnow. What we need to do is post this dude up, not lose into the backfield, and give our guard something to hit, which is exactly what happens here. And then we see, obviously, off of this, we create a beautiful crease right here in this B-gap, which Adrian Peterson is able to cut up for a decent amount of yardage. Little things like that are what Frank Ragnow does and does very, very well. I mean, this dude, when we talk about football players who can help an offensive line, Frank Ragnow, I believe, makes everybody else around him better, which is why he got this extension. Now, the other thing that Frank Ragnow does, and I have multiple clips of this, and something that honestly is incredible to me is this dude just stops nose tackles and defensive linemen when they're when they're pass rushing. And so I, I brought this thing in from the wide angle first, just because it, it really is crazy, right? Here's Frank Ragnow right here. We have a defense defensive lineman, an NFL caliber defensive lineman coming in hot, full speed. We make contact and we shut this thing down three yards into the backfield. That's insane for him to do. I mean, his technique on this stuff is perfect. We're locked in both hands underneath. No need to re-rack. Our hands aren't going by. We get our eyes below his, sink our butt. I mean, this is, this is a gorgeous job with pass protection. And he does this time and time again. Um, right here working on Akeem. I mean, this is Akeem Hicks. Akeem Hicks is a, a top defensive lineman in the NFL. And we're working out to our right side. He does the exact same thing. Boom, we're, we're locked in, right? That means we have no pressure coming up from the middle of the pocket, which is really nice for a guy like Stafford or for a guy like Jared off we don't have to worry about anything internally breaking up field right i mean we lock this thing down akeem hicks starts to make that move to the right so basically we just take him where we want to where he wants to go quarterback's going to make us right in this situation in the pocket we're going to see akeem hicks right work right to the right of the screen he wants to work that way fine we just got to keep on him hands are inside so we're not getting called for holding it's the little things like that that frank ragnow does that makes him such an excellent center and like i said we see this time and time again this clip is really phenomenal to be honest with you. So with this clip right here, the Bears are bringing pressure from the right side of the screen, right? From the boundary side. The Lions clearly, they pointed out the mic to be on the left side of the field here, which is why Frank Ragnow looks left to begin with. So once we see that guys are bailing, right? This is a high IQ football play. This is awesome, right? As we see dudes are bailing, right? Boom, we're bailing here and we're bailing here, okay? Now we know, okay, we got nothing coming. If something leaves out here, something's coming from the other side. He looks back inside. We lock up with this defensive lineman. And once again, we lock up and we're not losing ground on this afterwards. We lock up, boom, right here. We anchor our feet. I mean, we, this dude's not going anywhere. 
hips are nice and tight up against this thing. Arms are inside, locked in, not getting called on holds. Just a phenomenal job with his pass protection that you notice. Like, play in and play out with this dude. Just an absolute technician, and like I said, he makes everybody else around him better. So now we move on to the Green Bay Packers and Kenny Clark. Kenny Clark is one of my favorite defensive linemen in the league. I don't think he gets enough shine. He's an absolute monster on the field. And right here, we have Frank Ragnow and Kenny Clark. I mean, these two quality football players going head-to-head. -head. And Kenny Clark with this, he's going to stem across the face of Frank Ragnow. What, now, what's interesting about this, and this is a play that I think will kind of go by the wayside, but th this is another like very, very quality rep from Frank rag now because with this we're going to end up sliding to the right of the screen or to the left of the offensive line right so as we take that step out there Kenny Clark's immediately working inside on this so now we're at a bad angle but we're able to to react to this thing get across right without opening the gate which is what happens a lot of times with this is that when we slide this way the next reaction as this defensive lineman works upfield to that inside is we open the gate because we step back with this foot he doesn't do that right does he step back a little bit yeah he does it's naturally going to happen However, we're able to work our hips in front, get our chest in front of this thing. Once again, we're locked in right underneath this thing. I don't know what the stats are for holding calls, but I would almost guarantee Frank Ragnow doesn't get a lot of them. That's a quality rep, right? And, you know, another thing, like the, the result of the play, I'm not talking about in this game, in, in this film breakdown. Not at all. Like the, I'm talking about Frank Ragnow's reps specifically. Um, and like I said, play in and play out. This dude is winning reps. So right here, we just have a really simple down block once again on Kenny Clark, but What's fascinating to me about this is that he's so good with his feet and so good with his base that he rarely gets pushed back. I mean, this is a quality. We see this happen a lot on like a lot of football plays every Sunday, Monday, and Thursday. And this center's getting worked way back into the field, right? Boom, we're getting worked in. We're going to squeeze this gap, tackle for loss, whatever, right? In this situation, Frank Ragnow is just down blocking on Kenny Clark. And he's locked in on this. Once again, great job with the hand positioning. But the base, look at the base right here. This is an outstanding job. And then Kenny Clark's going to try and fight to squeeze this gap. All Ragnow does is move his hips a little bit so his butt's facing the ball carrier. Great base. Arms are locked in. Phenomenal job. Now he's not a problem. And this is the thing with offensive linemen. Guys that you don't hear about, guys that aren't getting shown on highlights for other defensive linemen, guys who aren't problems like that, those are your best offensive linemen. If you're not thinking about him, he's an outstanding offensive lineman. Different for guys like, you know, Quentin Nelson, who's screaming like a Viking pulling around the edge and decapitating a linebacker. Different for guys like that. Right, but for a guy like Frank Ragnow, we see IQ plays like this all the time. This is a phenomenal play from Frank Ragnow. So all we're going to see with this is we're going to get two guys working upfield right here, and then we're going to get this looper working to the inside. Very, very common pressure in the NFL, right? We're going to try and work upfield with these two guys, force this quarterback to step up into the pocket, right into the looper. This is an incredible job, in my opinion, because of how quickly Frank Ragnow is able to work this dude outside, see this looper, and then at the last second, boom, we're working in, and we get nose to nose with this thing and stop him right in his tracks. Phenomenal play phenomenal play and you don't like you don't need to play offensive line to know this like that's an incredible job on this so now we've seen his stuff on you know his combos we've seen his stuff on down blocking now we're going into a little bit of this zone game uh this wide zone from him is absolutely insane and, and reach blocking and wide zone stuff is some of the hardest things to do in the nfl just because like I said, everybody's an athlete. Like, there's nobody in the NFL who's not an athlete. Everybody's an athlete. And they're really, really good athletes. So, for Frank Ragnow to be able to reach this 2i right here is really crazy to me. And he's really not getting a lot of help from his guard. Yeah, the guard's working his hand out there just to touch up on it and, and secure that gap, I guess, is what I'll say. But this is an outstanding job by Frank Ragnow working up to this to this 2i right here, getting nose to nose with him, and then working him to a position where this back can make a, a decision off of it right this is a great job and the one thing that i do really like about this is his backside arm we see his backside arm on the top of this thing right it's on the top of his shoulder pads right here so if we cut this thing back with deandre swift and this defensive lineman works back inside we could get called for a holding absolutely especially you know if he's getting pulled as he goes down whatever but we re-rack that arm underneath to prevent that and then we're just going to keep this dude going where he wants to right okay maybe a little bit right at the end there but that's nothing crazy you're not going to get hauled for called for something like that phenomenal job from frank ragnow on this play like i said outstanding stuff with that reach block and he like i said the the clips that i see here happen consistently with him here's another great job on this reach block i mean this is outstanding stuff right not as far of a reach in this situation this dude's just lined up in a one tech tight tight one 
easier reach block, but still incredible that he's able to work nose to nose with this dude, drive him three, four yards downfield, and give his back something to cut off of. Phenomenal job from Frank Ragnow on this. Again, trying to show you guys like why this dude deserves this extension. He is without a question in my mind, top three center in the league. I mean, you're splitting hairs really when you get to the top five guys, right? Everybody's a stud at that point. Any of them, you can make a case to be the quote unquote highest paid. Um, but like I said, watching the interview with him, he just seems like an absolute class act, which is why I wanted to plug his stuff. Grizzly man outdoors. Um, phenomenal dude. It seems like a, at his, after he signed the contract extension, he gave a press conference talking about his parents, anybody, anybody, the, the manly man out there is going to get teary-eyed watching it so really cool stuff from him um you know congratulations if he ever watches if he ever miracles himself onto my channel congratulations on the on that extension it's outstanding um he's going to play outstanding this year and that detroit offensive line is looking very very scary and it's going to turn some heads i can guarantee you that so anyway guys that's all i got for you today hope you enjoyed this video if you did if you could hit that like button hit that subscribe button to my channel the hook cam uh, as well as to jackson kruger sports and then like i've said twice before check out grizzly man out Doors, the big dog Frank Ragnow's channel. So that's all I got for you guys today. Hope you all are having a good one. Stay safe out there and I'll see you next time.